Hi everyone, welcome back to Simply Shania and today we're going to be doing a book clear out. I do apologise for how long I've been away by the way, but there's been an issue. I've bought too many books. So them bookshelves kind of make me depressed right now. I've got piles of books on the floor, so I decided it's clear out time. Yeah. So, we've decided, or I've decided, thanks to the inspiration of Jessie the Reader, that if these don't bring me joy, they gotta go. So, I've come to the conclusion that the only way I can do this is by doing it a shelf at a time. So, I've sorted the top row out Hi off then. camera. So, I've got my first set of books. And basically, all these books are by people that I used to absolutely adore. And now I'm just kind of like, yeah, you're cool, but I don't, I'm not in love with you anymore. <laughs> so, the first one on this list is Justin Bieber's Just Getting Started. The next one's a bit of a um, sad one because it's the first ever autobiography I read, and that is Miles to Go by Miley Cyrus. Then, the next four, five, uh, books by YouTubers. Love Tanya and The Scrapbook of My Life by Alfie Dears. Two books that I got. And then Love Tanya I've honestly never even read. Then the next one is Username Evie. And basically I know someone that's after this and so they can just have my copy of it because I'm never going to read it again. And then this next one, Binge, Tyler Oakley. I absolutely love this book. It is signed because I met him just after my mum died and he was the sweetest person ever. But um yeah. And then Generation Next by Ollie White. Again, I bought this because it was signed. This is a one of the limited edition signed ones. This is book 450. Can't tell you how many there was. And then the next two are two Doctor Who books. This is Doctor Who The Vault by Marcus Hearn and basically gives you like background information into Doctor Who through the years from the first 50 year and again I've got friends who are Doctor Who fanatics so one of them will probably want this I've got two copies really don't need two copies and then the last one in this set is Doctor Who character encyclopedia I just look at it and think why have I still got you so to me that's a pretty big sign to say get rid next batch so it's just taking far too long to like film it all in there so the first one I picked up was Artichoke Hearts by Sita Bramakari. I got this in year seven and basically I've never read it. If I haven't read it now, I'm never going to read it. So bye. Then these next three are all by Susanna Dunn. So there's The Queen's Sorrow, The Queen of Subtleties and The Sixth Wife. So these books are about different Tudors, Catherine Parr, Anne Boleyn and Mary Tudor. I love history books and I love Tudors but I just don't know, I, I've had these books on my shelves for I'm going to say three years and there's just something that's not clicking with me so yeah let's get rid of them. Next is Passing Strange. I have nothing to say. I didn't even know I owned this book, so yeah. Then <laughs> I've got another spare copy of The Dream Thieves by Maggie Steve Water, which is the sequel to The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Water. Oh, how do you say name? I do apologise. Um, basically, I've got two of these. Don't need two. This next one, Extraordinary Means. <laughs> I don't know what this is. But it's apparently a book about friendship and things like this. But I just, I've got no feelings when I look at it. So, yeah. Then the next one, it's called Straight Out of Crompton by Alex Wheatle. I won this in a giveaway on Twitter. And I got it and I tried reading it. And I tried reading it. And I tried reading it. And I just wasn't a fan. So, personally, I think I might give this away. You know, like to someone else and hope that they enjoy it more than I did because I couldn't finish it. Career of the Mark by Lee Fallon is another Archetro Cards. Had it for years, dunno. 
I keep going to it, I read a chapter and I'm like, nah, bored. So, yeah. Harry's Secret. Again, I mean, the same boat as the last ones in not quite knowing. So, I'm not going to read it if I haven't read it by now. And the final two on this set, I'll Give You the Sun and The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. I'm going to be honest, and this is awful to say, I don't like the covers. That's the only reason I'm getting rid of them. I see a bit of covers in town, I'm like, I want them covers. And then I'm like, you've already got them, Shania. Let's get rid of these and then I can get them covers. Door! <sighs> yeah, I keep getting hit by the door to my room. This is great. Next lot. So we've got a lot more books and we're just going to keep moving through. So the first book is Privilege by Kate Bryan. I genuinely don't know what happens in this book except something about eating. And yeah, that's about it. The next two are two books that at the minute I'm keeping hold of because I'm putting them in my English coursework for uni. And that is Olivia's First Term and Olivia Flies High. And they're fantastic, but I'm too old for them now. They're going to my coursework and then they're going out. Jealousy by Lily St. Crow. It looks like a stereotypical teenage vampire book. Um, yeah. Then we have two books called Bone Quill and Hollow Earth by John and Carol E. Barrowman. I love John Barrowman. I've got his autobiographies on the top. But I've had these books years and I haven't read them. So if I haven't read them, I'm not going to read them. Kind of the motto to this video. Swordbird by Nancy Yi Fan. Um, again, I read this a few years ago and I enjoyed it at the time. But now... Bye. Then we have... A Place Called Here by Cecilia Rahern. This, along with quite a few in this pile, are going to be quite hard to get rid of because they were my mum's. But at the same time, I need to make more room on my shelves. I need, I've got so many books that I need to read and I need to have. So it's just one of them books that's going to go and I haven't read it. I'm just keeping it for the memories. And there's not even any memories in the book. So why have I still got it? And that's the same with this next one, which is called Personality by Andrew O'Hagan. Then we have Drink, Slay, Love by Sarah Beth Durst. Again, this is another one I haven't read. It's a vampire book. I went through a phase. Not in that phase anymore, thankfully. And I'm just not interested. Drink break! Next one. City of Time by Ian McNamee. Okay, um, I genuinely don't have a clue what this is about. All I know is that it's um, something about time and yeah. Then we have a dark touch novel called Betrayal by Amy Meredith. Again, it's another like dark, mysterious vampire book. I'm just not interested in them anymore. this book i have never disliked a book more that is all three books that are based on the true blood series that is living dead in dallas dead until dark and club dead true blood it's all about death <laughs> so the next book is called night school by c j Dewitty. I've had this book about seven years, never finished it. It's a good book, it's just, I don't, I think I've tried reading it that many times now, it's just going to be a chore to try and finish. So, I give up. Next is a book called Daniel Isn't Talking by Marty Leanback. Leanback. I'm so sorry. Um. Everyone told me to read this book, but I just haven't yeah i haven't 
Next one is, again, another signed author, and this one's personally signed. It's in two Shania, all the best, love, Alan Gibbons. And I went to a, like, book convention thing, and it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the book at the time. But, again, I was 12. I'm not 12 anymore. Demon from the Dark by Cressley Cole, which was another one of my mum's. Again, I don't, I haven't read it. I'm not going to read it, so that one's gone. Next is two classics. Northanger Abbey and Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Um, I've got nothing against Jane Austen. I'm just not, I'm one of them people that can't get into classics. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I just can't get into them. Snow White and the Huntsman. This is a book based on the movie. And I remember getting this book and then finding out everything that went down with <laughs> Kristen Stewart and the director and being a little vampire obsessed teenager. I was like, hmm, not reading that book. It's associated with Kristen Stewart. So I never read it. Not going to read it. So yeah, there's a fold out poster in it somewhere. Obviously, I've took that out and binned it. Then we have The Life and In The Life The Truth Can Hurt by Martina Cole. Then we have The Lost Daughter by Diane Chamberlain. Um, I know this is about a pregnant woman who disappears and then 20 years later her, her body's discovered. Apart from that, I don't really know anything. But I just, I don't know, it, it, it's not my kind of thing. By Rachel McIntyre and it's called Me and Mr J. Me and Mr J. I, yeah, I have no words for that book. No words. Then we have The Girl Who Came Back by Susan Lewis. It was okay. I, it wasn't brilliant to me, but yeah. Then we have Sophie Martin Canning, Kissed by the Angels. Um, this again isn't my kind of thing and i have the screenplay for star wars a new hope help me obi-wan kenobi you're my only hope <laughs> so yeah that was quite good again i think i might keep this for now and take it in for my english and see what's said there and then we have a book by rosamund lupton what a name called sisters i'm guessing it's about sisters I don't know. And then we have a book called The Girl Who Said No to Death, Ashley Bell, and I can't say his surname, by Dean Koontz. So my apologies. Um, the rest of the video was filmed like the next day. I completely forgot that I was going out to amateurs and that I still had half a video to film. So, <laughs> yeah. I went out, forgot I was out so late, like I said. And so yeah, we're just gonna finish off the three shelves that we didn't get done and go from there. So, the first lot is the Shakespeare stories. And this is a set of 12 Shakespeare books. And they are Henry V, Romeo and Juliet, Much Ado About Nothing, Macbeth, Twelfth Night, Richard III, A Midsummer's Night Dream, Hamlet, Othello, The Tempest, As You Like It, and Anthony and Cleopatra. Anthony, not Anthony. These I read when I was a lot younger and they're kind of, they're a really good guide into Shakespeare. It's got all the key points that you need for reading them and getting familiar with the story. So I just, I've outgrew them. I forgot that they were on my shelf. I haven't read them in years. And so it's time for these to move. Next, we have a book called Wildfire by Carsten Knight. I, I'm going back to what I said yesterday. I don't know what this is about. I think it's some kind of werewolfy vampire kind of thing. So, yeah. Bye. Then we have The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. Um, I don't know what this is about. I know it's by Rochelle Mead and I just haven't ever gotten round to reading it so I just don't think I'm going to read it. 
And then another Rochelle made, we have Bloodlines. Now this one is about vampires. Need I say any more? Then we have The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. I have these in the updated form, in like the subtle knife and all that lot. So I thought, mm, might as well just have them and this can go. Next, we have a book called 19 Minutes by Georgia Pickles. Um, again, I don't know what this is, um, but I haven't read it. Time for it to go. The next book is a classic. I've got two copies of this, and I don't need two copies. And that is Angus Songs and Full Frontal Snogging by Louise Renison. Basically, I've got two copies because I've got... the full set here um like i said i don't need these so this can go we have iris and ruby by rosie thomas don't know what this is about either i haven't read it then we have all our yesterdays so this is a book and it's about it's written in three different times um, yesterday, today and tomorrow and it kind of follows this tale of I think it's the same person I'm not sure just follows this tale through and trying to figure out what's going on I've tried reading it I've got to page what page is this 126 and just not finish it I dog eat the pages on this book I hate myself but yeah, I read this, I tried reading this, couldn't get into it, so yeah. Next we have Try Not To Breathe by Holly Seddon. I got this on my way back from Poland. Um, my friend got it and read it and then gave it to me. I haven't read it. Said I was gonna, haven't. So yeah, it can go. Next we have Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepherd. I got this thinking it was like the TV show because I've read the TV show. Read the TV show? Watched the TV show. Absolutely loved it. Um, this is nothing like the TV show. Very disappointed. Then we have three books by an author called Dave Pelzer. A man called Dave. A child called It and The Lost Boy. Again, these were three of my mum's. I don't know what goes on. They're on the floor now. So yeah. And our last two books on this um, unhaul are Geek Girl and Geek Girl Model Misfits by Holly Small. These books follow a girl called Harriet who is um, quite a geek. She's known in the school to be the geek girl. And then she gets taken on by this um, model company thing. And yeah, I read this when I was 12, I think. When did it come out? 13, I read this. And then I got this one the year after. Read to page God, 175 and didn't finish it. So I think that kind of sums everything up in that, them books as to yeah so they've got so that's quite a few books i'm going to count them all and then i'll insert a little clip to let you know exactly how many i've got rid of i counted all the books so i officially have unhauled in this video 79 books 79 I haven't even made a dent in my shelves. And to top it all off, I went book shopping today. Yeah. I think I need help. But it's all good. Yeah. Um, we got rid of 79 books. That's a lot of books. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. 
it took a long time to film and comment down below with new bookish video ideas that I can do because I'm very into my book videos now so I will see you later goodbye <laughs>